Mani amore mai più grande esisterà Insieme ai te lo resterò Amore mio, sempre così will feature some traditional dance music. The first tune that we'll play is a saltarello, a medieval court dance that features a strange jumping, leaping step named after the Italian verb to jump, which is saltare. And I promise you I won't demonstrate that because we don't wanna, <laughs> you don't want to see that. We'll just listen to it. <coughs> it is still actually a popular folk dance throughout the country. In the 1950s, Ethnomusicologist Alan Lomax traveled throughout Italy to make field recordings of folk music throughout the different regions. I transcribed the melody that we're going to hear from his field recording from the Abruzzi region, and I also tried my hand at arranging some additional parts to keep the rest of the band entertained. So, uh, <laughs> or, or, yeah. So here is uh, La Saltarello. <coughs> The next dance that we will play for you is a Neapolitan tarantella that I bet you will all recognize. 
So this is actually the melody for Funiculi Funicula and was composed in 1880 by Luigi Denza to celebrate the first funicular cable car on Mount Vesuvius. And again, this is a melody that I'm sure you'll all recognize and it is a tarantella. Coche mai si fuie, te lasa sta, te lasa sta. E non tu corri a preso, non ti struie, se lo agada, se lo agada. Iamo, iamo, la coppa ya me ya. Iamo, iamo, la coppa ya me ya. Funiculi, funicula, funiculi, funicula. Coppa ya me ya, funiculi, funicula. turn the stage officially back over to Eric and Marina. For their final few numbers, they will perform a song called Corey and Grato, or Ungrateful Heart, <coughs> written by the emigrant American composer Salvatore Cardillo in 1911. It is actually the only well-known standard Neapolitan song to have been written in America instead of in Italy. Eric will then sing Torna Sorrento, also a famous Neapolitan song, composed in 1902 by Ernesto de Curtis. Some claim this song is a plea to the Prime Minister at that time to keep his promise to help the impoverished city of Sorrento. The song reflects the, the beauty of the city's great surroundings and the love and passion of its citizens.
Folks, can we please have another great big hand for, for Eric and Marina? And I just wanted to say a, a really special word of thanks to, to Eric uh, for being willing to perform these songs and come down to Central New York uh, on his vacation and to his folks for coming uh, to, to hear today's performance. And all on the eve of his big 50th birthday. So happy oh, upcoming birthday, you. Eric. <laughs> this was a, a bit of an undertaking, uh, and I just wanted to mention how grateful I am because uh, the songs that Eric sang, believe it or not, are in three different languages. And you might be saying, what are you talking about? Well, he sang in standard Italian, in the Sicilian dialect, which is quite different, believe it or not, and in the Neapolitan dialect, which is also quite different. So a good lesson to vocalists out there. Once you learn one language, you got to learn a bunch of others to sing. So I'd, I'd also like to take this opportunity um, to thank several people for helping to make this event possible. Uh, first, to uh, Molly Andreco Reagan and the entire Porch Fest crew. Thanks for extending the invita invitation. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks to them for extending the invite to perform today and for organizing this entire fantastic event. Uh, you know, it started at noon and goes until 6 tonight, so hopefully after we're done you'll have a chance to, to see some other events. Uh, to Mr. Ed O'Rourke and the Old Timers Band Librarians, several of whom are playing in this ensemble, uh, for the use of their percussion equipment and for letting me go into the library and helping me uh, pick out a bunch of, of music for us to play today. This, this wouldn't have been possible without your guys' help, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. A really, really special note uh, of thanks to Terry and Brian Mingle for letting us use their sound equipment and for being uh, available to sell our old timer band DVDs. Uh, so thank you guys so much. It was nice to not have to run up to Syracuse for this stuff. <laughs> and finally, uh, I told myself I wasn't going to get choked up, but it's happening a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm really incredibly humbled and very grateful to my, to my fellow musicians and friends who volunteered their time energy and talents to put this group together. We, I, I hope we had fun rehearsing. I know I had uh, fun emailing you guys, it seems like, every day. So um, I just had a blast working with you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for traveling, for rehearsing, all of it. It's just been a blast. <laughs> so we're going to close our portion of Porch Fest with a traditional Italian march that if you grew up on the east end of Portland or if you've ever been to a St. Anthony's Day festival, uh, this, this piece really <laughs> needs no further introduction. I'm sure you'll, you'll all recognize it.
much again. We really enjoyed playing for you. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the rest of the Porch Fest events. Please visit Brian at the table to see if you would uh, like to purchase a DVD. And uh, thank you all so very much again for, for seeing our performance. And the band would like to thank Gabe for arranging all of this and making it happen. Thank you, Gabe.